Hey guys, welcome back. Just wanted to shoot this quick video. I'm sure you've heard the news by now, but if you haven't, I just wanted to um, highlight this. So OpenAI actually has unveiled their next model, which is going to be GPT-4 Turbo. Um, G if you've ever used um, ChatGPT itself, you know that GPT-4, it tends to be sort of a better overall model. Um, although it depends on what you're doing, sometimes GPT-3 or 3.5 can do the job just fine. It just depends on what you're doing. But I tend to lean towards GPT-4, a larger language model. It's more complex. It has the ability to do more complex tasks. So this news about GPT-4 Turbo coming out, which I believe is in December, I dropped the link um, here in my school group, which you can uh, join for free. It's basically a, a group where we talk about AI and SEO and, and sort of the connections between the two and how to supercharge your SEO uh, with AI content and vice versa. And I'll, I'll drop the link in the YouTube description below, but um, there's a link to this article here where you can check it out and learn more. But basically, I just kind of dropped some, some key takeaways. Um, so GPT-4 Turbo, which is going to be coming out, is going to be a third the price. So it's not only going to be cheaper, uh, but it's actually going to be faster and it's going to be capable of handling more prompts. Um, they say as extensive as an entire book. I've even heard like 300 pages worth um, uh, of content. So, you know, instead of saying, you know, write me an article on woodworking, you could literally put something super complex in there and my gears are already turning like how could we turn this into something that's going to be super powerful for seo because part of the problem with chat gpt is it's sort of a stop start stop start right so you give it a simple command it gives you something so you get that dopamine hit of wow you know i got something back from the ai but you often have to fine tune it it's not necessarily the way you want it there's still multiple steps involved so you know, there's still a process there, but um, this is definitely something that holds a lot of promise. I think if this is what I think it is, this could really um, not only supercharge SEO, but supercharge your AI uh, capabilities just in general. They're also going to have an assistance API for code interpreter and retrieval. So automation, optimization, and efficiency are just around the corner. So it sounds almost like a coder in your pocket, <clears throat> which I'm sure some people are going to be nervous about. But um, this is especially exciting. Uh, there's a couple of SEO tools that I've always wanted to create myself. So this will be helpful for me as I think about, you know, what is it that I would want to have in my back pocket or in my Rolodex of SEO tools just to streamline my everyday processes for both myself and my clients. Um, so GPT-4 Turbo's knowledge uh, extends until April 2023. So it's not going to be that outdated um, information that chat GPT-3 was relying on, which I believe was going only up until 2021. Um, vision and voice APIs. So they're going to have a text-to-speech API, real, super realistic voices. Um, you're going to have visual and audio pieces to this as well, as opposed to just the text piece, which we're used to up, up until now. Um, Whisper V3 model um, could be a conversational AI uh, for SEO content. Uh, kind of tight-lipped on this, but this definitely seems very interesting as well. And you have reduced rate limits that translate essentially to more cost-effective development. So all good news. Um, this is super interesting. A GPT builder, which is going to be available for plus and enterprise users. Um, you can literally customize and share your AI assistance with natural language. This is something that is already kind of available with certain tools, but this will be the first time that it'll be available through GPT itself. Um, and then also in a marketplace. So you can actually build your own GPTs and sell them on the marketplace for anyone who's interested in your specific version. Maybe you, you know, create something for your industry or your client's niche. You know, maybe it's in the medical industry or a certain company's knowledge base that you've turned into a GPT. Lots of opportunity there and, and really a, a great chance to get creative. Um, Increased uh, context window, um, basically just a lot of exciting stuff that, that's around the corner. So, you know, I said this, it's like our multi-step AI prompts <clears throat> on the horizon. So as opposed to just saying, do this one action, like write this one article. What about research this keyword, write this article, optimize it. This is the big one because a lot of people just write their articles, right? And they wonder why it doesn't rank in Google. Those are really crappy articles, to be honest. When you're getting them from ChatGPT, they're not optimized. So if you throw them in a tool like Surfer SEO to see if the, you know, the optimization score is usually quite low. 
And in fact, it's a lot lower than what you might get if you just had a human write it. So that's always been a problem. But what if you could do the usual piece, these usual chat GPT pieces, and then say, okay, go to the top 10 competitors ranking for that keyword on the first page and optimize this article based off that information. You know, grab an image from Pexels, uh, copyright free, upload it to your site, and then you know what? Do it again in 15 minutes. Now, we already have pieces of this in Zimwriter. Um, but you know, you could do, you could make this even more complex. You could have it go out to multiple sites and do that. There's just, there's a, there's an, any number of things that you could do with this based off of what they're saying will be possible with this new model of GPT-4 Turbo. So very exciting news. I uh, wanted to put this in my group. Um, I'm definitely going to be unveiling some interesting things, um, not only for AI, but for what, how you can supercharge your SEO and really supercharge your AI at the same time as well, because they have to work in conjunction, right? You can't just be writing a bunch of content and hoping for the best. And if you're not using AI as an SEO, um, you're kind of falling behind. So it's really about the marriage between the two that really supercharge your whole game. Um, so I'm going to be going through some interesting things uh, over the next few weeks and months. I'm going to be keeping a close eye on this. This is the link. It's inside the school group, which is at the bottom in, in the description below this video. Check it out. Feel free to join the group. It's a great group. Um, there's a course in here as well for um, how I grew a brand new website, 500% uh, uh, organic growth in traffic um, using just the AI tool Zimwriter, which I consider to be the best AI content writing tool on the market today. It just gets better and better every month. The developer's a great guy, Master Room, and he's always coming out with great new updates and features literally on a monthly basis. So it's not like he just leaves it for six months. Every month, something new and exciting, major feature comes out. It just gets better and better. So I basically use that tool to supercharge a brand new website, use these basic SEO foundational principles and grew it 500% in a little over 30 days. I believe it was closer to 40, 45 days. So just to prove that you can do this if you do it correctly, you got to have the right AI tool, which is Zimwriter. And then you got to take that AI content and supercharge it with the proper SEO. And I go through all of those steps here in this free course, exactly what I did for my test site. Um, and all you have to do is join the community, AI Powered SEO. Link is in the description. Happy to have you. And uh, we'll be keeping a close eye on this exciting new development from OpenAI uh, with GPT-4 Turbo coming very soon. The date is supposed to be December. Um, but let's keep a close eye on this and, and see um, if there are any updates on this front, it could be coming out sooner as well. I've heard rumblings, so so we'll see about that. But wanted to share this. If you haven't seen it already, come join the group. We'd be happy to have your thoughts on it. You know, leave your comments, leave your ideas. Uh, tell us what you'd like to do with the new version of GPT-4. I think that'd be interesting um, to see what kind of ideas people have and, and whether that will be made possible with this new GPT-4 turbo model. Thanks, guys. I'll see you in the next one.